Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored, and in this how-to series, we're gonna talk about how to use PolyWatch. So what is PolyWatch? PolyWatch is a polish that is made to polish acrylic or hesalite crystals that are commonly found in vintage watches. So acrylic crystals in watches are cool because as you wear them and as they get scratched, you can use PolyWatch, which is made in Germany. Uh, and it's specifically at a, at a grit or a fine grit to polish out the, the, the scuffs or the scratches that you receive in uh, your acrylic crystals on your, on your vintage timepieces. So we're gonna show you how to use it and talk about what you're gonna need to use it and then also provide you with a link below to grab all the supplies you need to restore or maintain your acrylic crystals for your vintage timepieces. So let's get into it. Before we get started, we're gonna need a couple of tools in order to properly Poly watch. So the first thing we're gonna need is a watch. One watch, check, with a fucked up crystal. I mean a scratched crystal. We're gonna need a spring bar tool. Boom, spring bar tool. Poly watch, microfiber, and an orange. Just kidding, you don't need an orange. In order to poly watch, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our bracelet. So I've got my uh, Bergeon spring bar tool. This is a 3153. I'll provide a link in the description below. But in order to properly polish the crystal, uh, I like to actually take the bracelet off. You don't have to do that, but for this demonstration, I am going to actually take off the bracelet. So, oops, Yahtzee. We go. So spring bar tool goes into the side hole here. And as I do that, I press down. And the spring bars are literally shooting off on this one. All right, so I'm gonna set my bracelet to the side, my end links to the side. Okay, spring bar tool to the side. I normally hold the watch like this in my hand while I'm applying the poly watch. Uh, the other thing that works really good too is if you actually put it on to a a surface, uh, make sure that you lay down something soft. I've got this little suede pad here. With the poly watch, what you're gonna wanna do is kinda knead the tube a little bit. We're gonna wanna mix it up because it does have a tendency to separate. So I'm gonna knead the tube of the poly watch. And then I'm going to apply about a pea size amount here. About like that, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my, my microfiber cloth and I'm gonna wrap it around my finger. And then what we're going to do is just in circular motions with a light amount of pressure, we're going to start swirling the poly watch around on the top of the crystal. Now, when I first started doing this, I used to use a, a, a littler amount, if that's a word, but a smaller amount of poly watch and I noticed that the, some of the poly watch gets absorbed into the, into the microfiber and you actually want the material on the crystal so that it moves around and that you can actually slide the, uh, the microfiber on the surface of the crystal. And so I'm going to probably take about a minute here and using light pressure, I'm just gonna basically work the material over the surface of the crystal. Try to get a little bit of a closer up view, but basically just polishing the crystal. If some gets off onto like the bezel or anything like that, it literally just wipes off. Um, if you notice there's a little like deeper scratch in one area of the crystal, you can kind of like work it in there, right? And you can kind of get a little bit more aggressive with it, but the idea is kind of like waxing a car or buffing out a car. You want to kind of make sure that you get all of the, the surfaces somewhat even, and it even works if you have like a scratch on the Cyclops. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is after I'm, I've, I've finished kind of my buffing or my polishing, what I'm gonna do is take a clean portion of the cloth, kind of pick it up, and then I'm just gonna kind of buff it out and kind of wipe off the excess material. And as you can see, the crystal looks pretty good. There's a couple of little light scuffs in there, but from where it was, the crystal actually kind of almost looks new again. The other thing that I'll say is that you can also do this a couple times. So if you don't feel like you got enough of the scratches out, or if you wanna really bring the crystal back, like this one was pretty rough because it hadn't been polished in a long time, you can actually reapply as many times as you want. 
The cool thing about acrylic crystals as opposed to sapphire crystals is that if you do scratch an acrylic crystal, you can easily buff out the scratches. With a sapphire crystal, if you uh, scratch a sapphire crystal, you can't really polish out a sapphire crystal. You actually have to replace it. So although the acrylic crystals are much softer, they are more forgiving because with polywatch, you can actually polish them out. So this is our second application of the polywatch to the crystal. I noticed there was a couple of deeper little blemishes up at the top here. Let me see if I can kind of work around in there a little bit more and bring those out. And again, I'm applying just a light amount of pressure. You, you can press pretty hard too. I mean, these are crystals. You're not gonna break the crystal. So apply a, a firm amount of force downward. It doesn't have to be excruci excruciating, if that makes sense, but just a little bit. And then again, take the cloth, wipe off the excess polywatch. And there you have it. All right, so it looks almost good as new. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and replace our bracelet. One thing is whenever I take off my bracelet, I normally replace the, uh, the spring bars. It's always good to do that. So with a fresh set of spring bars, one little tip and trick is that in order to install the watch bracelet correctly, make sure that the crowns or the coronets or the logos on the, on the watch are facing the same direction. Flip it over, grab your end link, grab your spring bar, pop it through. And as we're pushing down on the back side of the end link, we're pushing our spring bars in, give it a little jiggle to make sure it's in. And that is how you reinstall a bracelet, my friends. I know, it's scientific work, but somebody's gotta do it. So there you have it. Same thing here. Good as new, there it is. Awesome. Rad. So there you have it. That is how you restore a acrylic crystal with this magical stuff called Polywatch. I will provide a link in the description below so that you can purchase this magical stuff called Polywatch and spring bars and Amazon is where you can get these guys uh, or your local hardware store or whatever. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Let us know what other types of how-to stuff you wanna see. Uh, provide some comments below and we'll do some videos for us. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.